Well, Brittany wrote to me devastated after she says she found out that her boyfriend, the man she loved and is now pregnant with his baby, was leading a double life. She says she was shocked, destroyed, duped, and wanted to be here today to help other women avoid falling into the same trap that she had fallen into. Now, as we always do, we research our stories, top side and bottom. But as we began digging into Brittany's background, we received a very curious, unsolicited email just out of the blue claiming that Brittany was omitting some very key pieces of information from her story. And I mean some huge pieces. This friend claims Brittany is the one leading the double life and is a lying catfishing con artist. Now lean in everybody because this story gets more unbelievable by the minute. Right now Brittany is backstage waiting to talk to me and I don't think she has any idea what we have discovered about her. Because during our research we uncovered headline after headline documenting Brittany's history of harassment and fabricating pregnancies, births, and infant deaths, all for revenge and money. Just two years ago, it was reported that Brittany told a former one-night stand that their twins died at birth and sent him a photo of an urn supposedly holding their ashes. She was, of course, never even pregnant. And that's not all. She was even convicted of falsifying two birth certificates after lying to a judge about having twins. She even presented the judge a Photoshop picture of herself holding her bouncing new babies as proof. So now, before we meet Brittany, I want to interview a few of her former friends. But first up, let's hear from Randy who says not only has she lied about having babies in the past, she is also lying now because she claims Brittany is dangerous and needs to be stopped before she does even more damage. Take a look. Brittany is constantly telling lies. If she's telling you that she's pregnant right now, do not believe a word she's saying. It's not true. It's never been true. Prosecutors say she used her fake pregnancy as the reason she couldn't go to jail for violating a restraining order. The more she tells people that she's pregnant, the more she believes it. When I first met Brittany, she told me that she was pregnant with twins by a doctor. I was convinced that she was. She looked and she acted pregnant. I mean, she would hold her stomach, wouldn't drink. She even had morning sickness. On top of all of that, she had sonogram pictures. Later on, I actually found out that she stole pictures from a mutual friend. Brittany is constantly setting up men and making them believe that she's pregnant by them. Brittany finds men on dating websites. She will wind up sleeping with these men one time. She tells them that she's pregnant, harasses them, extorts money from them, and these men give it to her. I actually know three men that she's done this to. This is her paycheck, and that's why she does it over and over again. It's absurd. She constantly destroys men's lives and just turns their world upside down. Last month, police arrested her and took her to a hospital where tests confirmed she wasn't with child. But on her way to jail, she unbuckled her seatbelt and tried to jump from the moving car. Men absolutely need to be protected from her. Now, if what her friend is saying is true, if what the media is reporting is true, if all of this is true, then she wrote to us and is trying to catfish us. Um, and that's where it gets interesting. Now, Randy says she went from friend to foe when she learned about Brittany's lies and actually testified against her in court. Because of all of her plots and schemes, Brittany has had to go to court numerous times. 
One time, she had me go to court and testify on her behalf. Brittany was in court because she broke a restraining order against her, filed by a guy who she was lying to and harassing, saying she was pregnant. And I didn't know any of this. I was there to testify that she was pregnant. During the hearing, they actually showed a video of her walking into his place of employment, proving that she was harassing him. She literally sat there and said that she couldn't recall the event. You could clearly see that it was her. After being in court, I realized that everything she told me was a lie. I was furious. I was taken advantage of. I just wanted to kill her. I cut her off completely. I didn't want to have anything to do with her. The next time I found myself involved in a court case with Brittany, it was to testify against her. I was there to support one of her male victims. He made a mistake of sleeping with her one time. She turned right around and said that she was now pregnant by him. He never felt safe because she was constantly harassing him and stalking him. When she saw that I was there to testify against her, she turned as white as a ghost. She knew that she was caught. I testified that everything that she was doing to him was true, but it didn't help. She's still harassing him to this day. Brittany is absolutely dangerous. Okay, listen, thank you for being here, first of thank all. Thank you for having us. Now, take me through that first phase of your relationship, what did she have you believe in? Well, when I met her, she was already pregnant and she was having twin babies and she said that she couldn't wait because she was gonna get him for a lot of money and because it's twins and he makes a lot of money, her child support checks will be huge. That was her focus at the time? That was, yeah, her focus at the time. Okay. She told me who he was and I was like, and she like made up all sorts of stories that he hit her and he, you know, physically abused her. Um, and she was just, you know, making up lie after lie after lie. But for me, there was no reason not to believe her. If somebody says they're pregnant, right? why would anybody like think that they're not? Well, it's hard to wrap your head around that because yeah. it's not something that you could conceive of doing, it's right? It's not something that's normal. So you, you believe her at the point because yeah. there's no reason not to. Absolutely. All right. And then uh, she actually shows you a sonogram. Oh, yeah. We picked out baby names. She showed me an actual sonogram of the baby. And what were the baby names? It was like Brielle and Braxton or something like that. Or and she shows you these sonograms, and you look at them and think, well, okay, you gotcha. Wow, you're having twins, I can't wait. Very excited I'm excited, for like you're a friend, and I really trusted her. You know, I, I, I kind of pulled her into my family. She doesn't have any family, her mom supposedly died, and her dad lives in North Dakota. And um, so she had no place to go for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I was like, okay, well, you can come to Thanksgiving at my house. And when we did the, we have a tradition where everybody says like what we're thankful for. Hers in front of my entire family, my son, my mother, and everybody else was, I'm so thankful that I'm pregnant. And she said it again, that she's gonna get a ton of child support from him. Okay, now, at this point, you're all in. You're helping her. She's being yep. abused, beaten, abandoned. Yep. And is having twins on her own with nobody to help yep. her. Take me through the moment when you said, oh my God, <laughs> I've been had. So I moved her out of a townhouse into a gentleman's house and she kept saying how hot he was. And she was showing me pictures. I was like, yeah, he's a good looking guy. Well, she wound up sleeping with him, okay? And I didn't know that she was now- While she was pregnant. While she was pregnant, yep. Supposedly pregnant. <laughs> I did not know that she was now telling that person that she moved in with after two, three weeks, whatever it was, that she was pregnant by him. How can you be pregnant by two people <laughs> at the same time? Okay, so she, how did she told you that? She was doing that to him and doing it to the other guy, and I only knew she was doing it to the other guy. Well, how did you find out that she was doing it to the new, <laughs> the new guy? So um, I got a call from him and he asked me, he, he started talking about it. And I'm like, what do you, t she can't be pregnant by you. And I said, she's pregnant with so-and-so's baby. And so I was like, what? And so that's how I found out about it. And 
I was mad. I was so angry because here's a person that I invited into my home, into my family, and she's duping me. You also witnessed her receiving money in a parking lot. I did. $800 I from did. neither of these two guys. Nope. This is a third person. Yep. And this was who? I was told he was a married man and she was dating him and he wanted to leave his wife for her and she needed to go meet him because he wanted to give her something. What do I know? Okay, sounds normal. I take her, I drive, we go. She meets him in a parking lot. I wave hi from the car. She comes back in the car with $800 all of a sudden. And I was like, wow, he gave you $800? She's like, yeah. She's like, let's go to the mall to go shopping and I'll take you to dinner. Well, what do you know about that $800 now? She spent it. Well, I mean, <laughs> what, what was he giving her the money for? She just said he just gave it to her, which I thought was odd. I was like, wow, I wish I had a guy that would just give me $800. <laughs> okay. Any takers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in, in going through the history, we have now learned that uh, in, in this history of, of men that we've tracked down and done, this married man was giving her that $800. That's hush money. To stay quiet. Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. How did you know she, that? Because I talked to him um, through social media. Okay, was this while she was pregnant? Yeah, but I didn't know until later on like when I pieced it together, I realized, and that's when I contacted him. And he's the one who told me what was going okay, on. Okay, so at this point, you know she's pregnant. Now she's moved in, just taken a room in a house yep. with a guy, slept with him once, and told him that he's gotten her pregnant. And now she's in a parking lot taking $800 from somebody that supposedly got her pregnant. Yep. So that's one, two, three people yep. that own these supposed twins. Yes, <laughs> and it's always twins. So bells go off in your head at that point. So what do you, did you confront her about this? I did not, I cut her off completely. I was so hurt, I was so angry that, you know, that I trusted her as a friend and she would make up this crazy, ridiculous lie. Let's talk about some of the history of the men. You know of three of, of these four. Mm -hmm. In 2010, September, man won. Now, he filed harassment and a restraining uh, petition against her. He filed to keep her away from him. In 2012, man two married, she claimed pregnant with his child, and this is the one that she met in the parking lot, yep. supposedly called this man's spouse, work, left notes, claiming to be pregnant. 2012, February, man number three, he filed harassment and a restraining order. She claimed she was pregnant with his twin, showed up at his work, left notes in his car, unwanted messages. Same year, November 14th, this man, number four, filed harassment petition. Uh, again, this is the one she rented a room to Brittany, claimed pregnant with his child after having sex one time harassed him at work, called his new girlfriend and family, claiming that he's pregnant. So you know about three of these four, the ones in 2012. 2010, we learned about from the media. It was reported in the media. Didn't know about that one. <laughs> now, you had testified on her behalf at one point, correct? I did. I was subpoenaed to court. Okay, and you testified to what? I testified for her. They wanted someone to, she wanted me to say that I knew she was pregnant. That was it. They wanted to know that her family and her friends knew that she was pregnant. Why was that a question? Why, I, I don't know. That's what they wanted to know. It's, what was the court hearing about? The court hearing was um, the first guy filed the harassment and he wanted a restraining order granted and he was granted the restraining order after it. Okay. Now, during it, during court, this was so crazy. And this is, actually, this is when I knew I was duped because when we were in court, you know, I got up, I did what I needed to do. I came back and they started talking about a video. And they actually played the video of her walking into his job 
carrying like a huge baby basket with stuff in it and you don't see her and then five seconds later she walks out. No basket. <laughs> when they asked her, is that you? She said, I don't recall that. And they asked her it another way and she said, I don't recall that. And I was just sitting there stunned in the moment. Okay. I couldn't believe it. Like, it was so clear. I mean, you could see her face. You can see her, like, her body. You, it was her. And, and I was stunned. And she's denying it. Oh, yeah. And, she and said, so you I knew don't at recall that. that. Point. You knew at that point. I knew at that point. I went, oh, my God. Like, I just testified in court that, you know, she then, is pregnant. And but she's then doing crazy later, things. But then you testified against her. Against her. And you said what in that testimony? So in that testimony, I told the judge that there's no way she could be pregnant because she was pregnant by the first guy. Let's hear from man number four who Randy testified uh, on his behalf. He said he was too afraid to show his face because of all of Brittany's harassment. So we're just going to hear from him. Take a listen. She entered my home you know, as a roommate um, within a few weeks of being a roommate. Um, Basically, she forced herself upon me and started with lies of pregnancy and alternating it in a restraining order. She's definitely in some nature psychotic help. She's a waste of oxygen, and I hope that she goes to jail. Okay, so obviously he's pretty bitter. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, about this. Today we're unraveling a tangled web of lies, deception, fake pregnancies, and births that never happened. It all began with an email from a woman named Brittany who is backstage because she's here to expose people that lie and deceive. Now, we have spent many weeks researching to get to the truth. Most we have contacted were too afraid to come to the show. They just said, look, this, this woman is just troubled, don't want to have anything to do with it. Randy was brave enough to testify against her, and her former friend Haley became an unwilling accomplice when Brittany showed her a picture that pulled at Haley's heartstrings. Hmm. Brittany is without a doubt a pathological liar and a sociopath. She's 100% careless about hurting people and destroying their lives. When I first met Brittany, she told me that she had just delivered stillborn twins and that she was living in an abusive situation and she needed a place to stay. Brittany showed me a picture of her actually holding two stillborn babies in her arms in a hospital bed. I felt so compassionate and empathetic and I wanted to take her into my home and help her get back on her feet. When Brittany lived with me, she didn't say much about the babies she lost. I just figured it was too painful for her to talk about. But she talked a lot about the father. Brittany talked a lot about how he was a deadbeat and wasn't helping with anything and couldn't get a hold of him. It really pulled on my heartstrings and kept me involved. After Brittany moved out, she asked me to write witness statements so that she could get the death certificates for her stillborn twins. I said, well, I can't give you actual witness statements because I wasn't there, but I can give you a statement that says I was aware of the births because I saw the picture. So I wrote those statements, got them notarized. I ended up being questioned by a detective as a possible accomplice in a felony forgery case. I was speechless. Well, Haley says when she went from friend to near felon, she was just outraged. She filed false information with the health department to get birth certificates for twins named Braxton and Brielle. Brittany took the notarized papers, changed all the words, but kept my signature and the notarization. I was livid, livid. It was just too much. I found out that Brittany was never pregnant and never actually had these twins. The picture Brittany actually showed me was a fake. She took a picture from another woman who was holding her stillborn babies and photoshopped her own face on it. I mean, that's disgusting. 
who does something like that. I felt completely used, completely taken advantage of on the deepest level. Brittany is an incredibly mentally ill woman. With Brittany's obsession with being a mother, with her lies to men, her manipulations, with her hustles, anyone dealing with Brittany needs to watch their back. Okay, Haley, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. So, like Randy, at first, you believed and had compassion for her, right? A time, yeah, I'm a lover, yeah. for sure. And so she asked you to give her a statement supporting the fact that she had been pregnant. Yeah, that was two times after I'd written her off. <laughs> right. Yeah. And why had you written her off? <sighs> because she had just taken and taken and taken and taken. Like, she doesn't give anything back. And I had a lot going on in my own life. Um, I was going to treatment for PTSD, and she, <laughs> I was walking onto the plane, mm -hmm. and she wanted, she was on the phone with me asking me to find her a therapist. I'm like, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? Like, no. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I kept writing her off, but then she kept like having crisis. And I'm like, I'm, an, I'm a women's advocate. I'm a domestic violence advocate. So I kept getting pulled in. And that was my fault, totally. But um, I got pulled in again. So you limited what you said, because she asked you to write some things, mm -hmm. to attest to some things that you couldn't right. attest to. But you said, I won't do that. But I will at least say that I was aware. Right. And we called the state and asked them if that was OK. And they said, yeah you can say you were aware of the pregnancies because you saw the picture. So I said, right. great, I'll write that. So based on the picture you saw, you said, I can, I, I can attest to the fact that I was aware of the pregnancies yep. because I saw the picture of her holding two stillborn babies. Yeah. And how did you find out that she had photoshopped her face onto another woman's body? About nine months later, I get a call from a detective saying, do you know um, Brittany? And I'm like, uh. And he's like, well, that's common. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he's like, well, we have copies here of these documents saying that you were at this, this home birth in this city with this doula when Brittany was having these twins, these stillborn twins. And I'm like, no. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, no. He said, well, it's notarized with your name on it. And I said, I notarized two documents that said that I was aware of stillborn births because I saw a picture of her in a hospital bed with her holding stillborn twins, Braxton and Brielle. And he said, well, that's not what I have here. And that's, that's when I realized he was, he was um, investigating me as part of it. And he thought you were an accomplice to the fraud. Right. And he immediately realized with how shocked I was. He's like, I get it. You are just as shocked as everyone else. I get it. You're not in the case. I'm sorry. This, she, she got you too. But it took me two and a half years to figure out that she got me. There were a lot of headlines that were out yeah. there. I mean, yes. there, there, were, there were news articles yes. about this. Woman mm -hmm. lied to men, mm -hmm. courts about uh, being pregnant and having babies, charges, uh, woman fake pregnancy to get leniency from court system him. So there were these kinds of headlines. So you, you were seeing these, both of you were seeing these, right. and you met on a message board. There was an article that was um, in the news. Yeah. And you know how you can write comments underneath it? Yeah. I wrote something like, she sat at my Thanksgiving table, this yeah. woman is crazy. Men should beware of her. And then we all And that's how you guys together. found me. Okay, so you didn't know each other no, before. No, no. She coming. reached out to me when she saw the message. Yeah. And she said, could you call me? And I was like, no, because... She thought I was Brittany. I thought that she was Brittany, because she has so many fake accounts right. that you never know <clears throat> if it's her or not. And I thought that she was her. And so I made her voice chat. I said, I'm not talking through the computer with you. Yeah. I, I want to hear your you voice. guys were Brittany. <laughs> when you guys, when, when you, you called me, I thought you were Brittany. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. And when you guys contacted me, I thought you guys were Brittany. <laughs> yeah. 
So, right, because she's pervasive in yeah. trying to get yeah. into your lives. All right, so let's talk about this. You're aware of five men yeah. that At she least. claimed yeah. to be pregnant yeah. with. Um, and you, you've talked about one of the things you said is good luck keeping her on stage here because she's jumped out of a two-story building <laughs> and out of a moving police car. Yes, what, that's correct. Um, she's also led the police on two high-speed chases. That's true. And one time she was um, in a store with a friend. They were separate and she saw... I called the cops on she her. She saw her in I the store she so she warrants. called about the warrants. Yeah. Well, she took off in the car with the with but the she, little one. She threw the baby. Didn't in the back, put the baby in a car seat. Nothing, and literally led the police on a high speed chase for about ten miles. Ten miles. Did they catch her? No. No. She died. Why? She, because she was driving so erratically that they were afraid that she was going to cause a car accident. So they, they backed off. And they backed well, off. They were also in an unmarked car, yeah. and she ducked into a private parking lot. Yeah. She gets away with everything. She had like seven felonies and she got off with two misdemeanors. She was supposed to serve jail time. Why like, did she I jump it... out of a two-story window? This was with the guy that I know, okay? She, he was at work. She ended up getting into his house. He had already filed for a restraining order. She was in his bed when, she, when he got home, waiting for him. And she had already told him the whole pregnancy thing. This is another one. And when he got home, he's like, you get out of my house right now. I have conceal and carry, and it doesn't matter because I'm in my house, so I can have a gun. And she's like, I'm going to say that you domestically abused me, blah, blah, blah. And he's called the cops. Well, she decided, I'm not going to take the stairs and the door to get out. I'm going to jump out the window and say you broke my ankle. Because the police were coming. Yeah. So she jumped out his bedroom window, two stories up. <laughs> sprained her ankle, the cops were already there, and she started running, so then she got evading police. She's had 12 restraining orders right. against her, right. and she's been charged with violating those restraining orders on eight different occasions. Yep, correct. So she doesn't have a lot of respect for that. Yeah. Now, let's look at page number two of the men that have been involved. Uh, we went through one through four. This, is, this is when I started, it was okay. 2014. All right, this is when you got involved. Yeah. A July 2014, man number five filed harassment petition, not left me alone for the past 15 months. I had one date and sex yep. and claimed delivered his twins premature stillborn, mm -hmm. sent photo of remains in an urn, later claimed the twins were alive. That's the one that I knew about. Those were the twins that I saw the pictures of. Okay. Did you know that she had sent a picture of an urn? I knew that she was stalking him on on a certain dating site and on Facebook. Do you know that urn is her mother? Yeah, the urn is her mother's remains. November 2014, um, on November 4th, man number six filed a harassment petition, claimed pregnant with his child and befriended the mother of the man's real child, moved in with that child's mother for several months. That, she moved in with me. November 15th, 2014. Moved in with you. Mm -hmm. um, and for how long? Until July 21st, 2015. Oh, no, it was 2013 to 2014. Sorry, I'm okay. wrong. Yeah, that's a different Sorry, time. Sorry, it's a yeah. different time. That was earlier. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. it's it, hard to keep how track. How can you keep track? Yeah, then July of <laughs> yeah. 2015, man number seven, claimed secretly had his baby and that the baby was in intensive care, allegedly attempted to extort money from him. And then March 2016, man number eight, claims 25 weeks pregnant with his child. That's the current man. And the man has blocked 40 different numbers that Brittany has used to try to call him, which like you guys say, you, you thought it was her. Mm -hmm. He says she uses different numbers to try mm -hmm. to get in touch with him, different. Yep. Uh, addresses on the computer, different phone numbers. She has um, called People need parents. to stop making apps that can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Mm -hmm. She called parents, friends, yeah. Yeah. to destroy these men's lives. Okay. Now, how this fits in with us is in July 2014, the, this man, we met him 
at a Halloween party. And she drove us because she was gonna be our sober driver on Halloween. And when we were walking into the Halloween party, she said, oh, don't tell them that I'm pregnant because I don't really want anybody to know, which, okay, you know, that's fine. And if they <clears throat> ask why I'm not drinking, just tell them I'm sober cab. When she comes out, she may have a heart attack, break her leg, have an ectopic pregnancy, have to go to the hospital, <clears throat> her mom might die again. Um, <laughs> she might fall over or have to go wash her fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Just a disclaimer. No, I got you. I got you. Because of Brittany's shenanigans, she is always running from the police. One time she had a warrant out for her arrest, I spotted her at the mall. I started following her and called the police right away. When Brittany caught a glimpse of me, she booked it out of the store. An unmarked police car saw her and she took off. It ended up being a high-speed chase all the way to another city 10 miles away. In true form, she actually got away. After the incident, I started to get text messages from somebody saying they were watching me, they were outside of my house, and it started to scare me. I don't have her here because I want to embarrass her. I mean, she's had every headline. She's been all over the news. We want she, to get her help. She has been found out. I mean, yeah. that's clearly the thing. She, this is not, uh, we're not revealing this for the first time. Mm -hmm. the, the court has outed her. She's been in the newspapers. But what people have done is they've talked about her. They haven't tried to help her. Right. I want to stop her. Right. I want to stop her from victimizing other people. And I want to try to get her some help because... What, what kind of life is this? What kind of life is it to live going from lie to lie to lie? And you may think, oh, she's just a sociopath. She, you can't help her. I don't believe that. I mean, there, there's got to be something going on here. And the questions that she has asked, what causes someone to lie like this? Uh, are they a narcissist? Do they not care about other people's feelings? Are they a sociopath? Are they delusional? Um, and, and she says, I fear that if this man that's doing this to me, she's saying if, if the man that's doing this to her is all of those things, will her child inherit them? I, mean, I don't know what's going on in her head, but I want her to stop and I want to offer her some help. And that's why we're here too. We want to yeah. make that clear. We're not here to vilify her. That's already been done in yeah. the news. We're here because we keep watching men get hurt in our city, and she, and we want her to get help. To we just stopped. don't know how to do it. She needs to be stopped, and she needs help. And I truly believe that her writing to me is a cry for help. Why else would you write? To, why Why else would you write to Dr. Phil if you have all? I mean, she's got to know. I mean, we check our guest's background. I mean, we do. So at some point. If she's ready, I may ask Randy and Haley to join, um, and we'll see what's happening. Now, Brittany's backstage. For now, I'm going to put you guys out of sight up mm -hmm. here in the audience where you'll be out of her eye line, because she's going to be sitting right here where you're facing me. Okay. And I'm going to put you guys back here. Great. Um, and and I'll, I'll tell all of you in the audience here, when Brittany comes out, I'm going to let her tell me her story. Um, and I'm going to see just how long she will keep up this charade. One of the things she asked is that we reach out to this man and see what he had to say. And we did. And we have him on tape. And we're going to play that tape for her. And then we're going to let her try and explain why he says what he's saying and then we're gonna go into the rest of her background. Well, we're out of time today, but there is even more to this shocking story. Tomorrow, I sit down with Brittany and I try to uncover the truth. Is she really lying to men about being pregnant? And if so, why? What is her end game? Did she present fabricated photos and birth certificates to a judge to avoid serving time? Are all eight men lying about her? So what is the truth? 
there are two sides to every story, and we haven't heard Brittany's side yet, but you will. She tells a completely different story than what we've heard today. So what is the truth? Tomorrow I'll do my best to find out. I want to thank all of my guests today. We'll see you next time. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.